Some said the SDP will change the narratives of governance in Nigeria if Nigerians give your party the chance to rule. Now, what changes do you intend to bring, especially when it comes to security and the economy? Article 1 of our constitution talks about the protection of life and properties of Nigeria. There is an abdication of that article by the current president because Nigerians' lives and their properties are no longer safe. No president that will be elected that will not give priority to the safety of lives and properties of Nigerians. Because once safety and property of Nigeria is being compromised, forget about any development, forget about any peace, forget about any unity, Nigeria will degenerate into anarchy. People cannot be killed masslessly and government will become helplessless. As a government, you must bite to the bone and take responsibility. Every leader that cannot take responsibility should not think of being there. Presidency is not about whining and dining, it's not about tea, it's not about eating indomie, it's not about beer palo. It's about taking serious national decisions that will affect the life of Nigerians. I want to assure you, as some of us have been in government, we understand the dynamics of leadership. Once we are privileged to be elected by Nigerians, I want to assure you within 100 days, you will see a different Nigeria. You will see decisiveness, you will see intentional operations, you will see inclusive, inclusiveness, you will see developing a process of reconciling Nigerians, you will see creating environment for investors or capital flight into Nigeria. You will see dealing with major crimes and criminalities and the gangsters that are responsible for organizing crimes and criminalities in Nigeria. If you do not create an, a conducive environment, you forget about any other factors that will lead to the development or progress of any nation. So our fundamental responsibility as a party, if elected into office, is to restore law and order. We are not a banana republic. In the last administration recently of President Obasanjo, we have seen decisiveness in leadership, curtailing excesses of governors that have turned into imperialists, governors that will wake up and then start signing executive orders, shrinking political space, denying campaigns in the states, and then the, 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 the federal government that have responsibility of law and order, that are in charge of security agency, military and paramilitary, become helpless and then choking the entire political space, making it impossible for possibility of free and fair election. No responsible government will allow any governor to think he's above board, he cannot be content. And no responsible party, no responsible leaders of political party can allow any party leader to feel that he's indispensable. Nobody is indispensable in terms of leadership and in terms of decision making. We have seen at the, at the, during the administration of President Obasanjo, where governors were called to order, where humbled and leadership was humbled. Not like what we are seeing today. Governors are turning into emperors. Nobody can talk to them, suffocating the state, suffocating the political environment, and being vulgar in virtually everything they do. As if we are in the banana republic. This shouldn't happen. We have seen leadership in Nigeria, and leadership by example. So we need to take care of this. Anybody who can go into office as like a governor, what that office means is humility. What office, that office means is for you to be so bad because you see category of issues that deserve sympathy, that deserve attention, that deserve immediate action. Instead of uniting the country, instead of uniting the states, virtually in the large country, the governors are responsible for the crisis we are having today in Nigeria. All right. Because they cannot manage the citizens in their own state that they differed with in terms of dialect or tribe and so on and so forth. So it, it takes a leader who understands what it takes to provide a very decisive leadership to curtail the current situation they are, we are in in Nigeria. <laughs>